Greetings, Blade fans. We've got a new knife for you today from a brand new company from Russia. This came to me through the Knife Nuts podcast, thanks to Levon. And, uh, well, it's uh, a real interesting one on a lot of notes. And although it looks rather straightforward and plain, you know, but here you go. That's the box. For those that read Russian, there you go. The company is known as Reptilian Knife Company. It's kind of an interesting snake or alligator eye or whatnot there. And the model is called the Finca, F-I-N-K-A, kind of an unusual name, not sure how that translates, but that's the knife and that is the name and it is a big boy. I'm going to start this way. Let's do some comparisons. To the 8015 by Cold Steel to the Helix by Concept and how about another Russian knife? Sure. The recently reviewed Vendetta by Dagger Knives. So as you can see it is longer than the Helix, although about the same size handle. But it's straining to be as long as the 5 inch blade on the Vendetta. That's a big knife. So let's take a closer look. We have a G10 handle. And I know you're all waiting to get to the part where I close it. <laughs> because it's magic. Black stone wash blade of D2. 3.5 millimeter blade stock. 0.68 inch handle thickness. Did these ahead of time because um, my uh, caliper sort of crapping out on me. I've got a new one coming today. Nice texture, very aggressive here, by the way. Almost rough even, but a very grippy part there and not so grippy there, where these are sort of uh, smoothed over, almost like the belly of a serpent, right? Very aggressive jimping in here that goes through the G10 into the steel liners. The blade lockup is drum tight in all directions. I was a little suspicious because here we go. Here is the magic that opens and closes the knife. We have a sliding scale. Not the kind you use in your finances, but <laughs> the kind that opens and closes a knife. See that? So, very similar to some autos that open the same way. This knife actually will open that way and close. I'm going to give it a little extra here. Come on. It's new and she's a little tight. What can I say? There we go. But will open without using the scale. So unlike uh, some of the newer button locks, uh, one in particular from Civivi, you can open it without actuating the lock, which is kind of a nice thing. So slide it, close it, no problem. Beautiful deep carry pocket clip, which is switchable to the left side of the knife, you lefties. And 
the blade is going to be about four inches, four and a half inches, excuse me. But let's check. I like to check it all. So what I'm seeing is 4.6 inches to the handle with a cutting edge of about 4.4, 4, 4.35. And a weight. Get this new scale out here. Nothing's ever in reach when you want it. It's going to be a heavy one. 6.47 ounces. Okay, call it six and a half if you want. Because it's all steel, and as far as I know, I keep looking for a thumb stud there, but there isn't any. This would qualify in many, many jurisdictions as a gravity knife. So before you order one and carry it around, it might be number one, too long, and number two, qualify as a gravity opener. So let's take a look at uh, some of the ergos and other features on this knife. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a long clip point, four and a half inches, D2 steel, and I think we're going to need to back out just a bit. Yeah, so we're hitting focus a little better. Um, pretty nice stone wash, uh, not super pretty attractive. Um, not really I don't feel intended to be. It's a pretty utilitarian knife, although it's got a um, very interestingly machined handle. And as far as that handle goes, uh, it's almost a hand and a half. It's a pretty good size. can go point down without any problem. We have a nice built-in guard, even without a flipper tab. The uh, finger locks in there very nicely, and uh, this is very ergonomic in a kind of a fencer's or saber grip cross palm. Uh, the thumb there and the index finger there, they lock in really tight. You know, these two fingers feel like they're really working together. If you wanted to go hammer grip, no problem. You've got plenty of room for the thumb. There's no jimping directly on the blade. That jimping is back here on the handle, but a very nice thumb ramp. We've got a hint of a fuller here, a very thin fuller at the top of the blade. Otherwise, a very high, continuous, flat grind right to the spine. And um, pretty good tip. I can pull a little better focus for you. I switch backgrounds and sometimes when they've got a lot of detail in the background we don't hit focus on the subject which in this case is the knife. Nice pocket clip. Plenty of tension. It's a steel spring clip style. Uh, we do have button head screws sticking up, and we've got a rough surface there. I haven't had it uh, in and out of the pocket too much. One thing I am realizing is that um, the release is going to take a little bit of breaking in, but it's gotten smoother even uh, in the hour or so that I've been playing with it. Let me check it out in the pocket for you. I can't put the pocket on camera, but uh, not bad, actually little bit of drag but uh, most of that's the texture and not the screws again you can pull this right out and open it up and everything locks up extremely tight there we go and the release isn't too bad again what you've got is a full surface 
of the uh, handle scale sliding see if we can get a better close-up for you here sliding on the liner so there's a little bit of friction there more than a little bit I expected it actually to be a lot looser I'm glad it's not loose because that would mean that you could either open or close the knife accidentally it's hanging up a little again yeah it's just that your thumb doesn't have a lot to uh, to hang on to there but it seems like in this position no problem it's once it's locked open and you can hear that extra little click it's pretty tight and again I'm kinda glad it is nice palm swell in the middle again 0.68 across the middle narrows in a little bit there and you got that nice natural palm swell and uh, contoured scales so you know uh, it's unusual I've been waiting a couple of months maybe a month and a half or so for this guy to come in uh, there is another model this is the uh, V2 no this is the V1 I think and the other is a plain uncoated blade with a that's more of a, a drop point and not a clip point and uh, these come and go you know if you go out to knife nuts and look at the imports tab you will see that uh, neither of these two versions is uh, available uh, they're marked as out of stock, but I saw that happen on the uh, Crystal Aurora. It was in, it was out, it was in, it was out. So if you keep checking, you may find that they can take orders again on these knives. I hope they do. It's a cool knife, uh, great EDC, great impressive knife. And, uh, oh yeah, let's finish up with a Rat 1 comparison. So, don't need to tell you, it is a larger knife than the Rat 1 for sure. And uh, should still carry well. Hoping it does, because it'll be in my pocket next few days. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I've got more interesting stuff coming your way. This old sword, signing out.